Welcome back to Paper and Plates. My name's Natasha, and today I'll be reviewing the Diplomat Arrow fountain pen. The Diplomat Arrow comes in three forms, fountain pens, ballpoint pens, and mechanical pencils. The fountain pens have an aluminum body, and as of September 2nd, 2018, the colors available are brown, silver, black, factory, which is a shiny silver, and orange. Diplomat is currently taking pre-sales for their new color, which is a blue. The ball points and roller balls will start selling on October 1st, and the fountain pens will be available on November 1st. I did learn at the 2018 DC Pen Show from the Diplomat distributors that a purple color will be available in another month or two, so at that point that should be this September, but perhaps October since I haven't yet heard anything about that color. The Diplomat Arrow has a number 6 steel Yovo nib. There's also a two-tone gold nib available. The nib sizes on both nib options are extra fine, fine, medium, Goulet calls the fourth option broad, and Diplomat calls it bold. The Arrow is a cartridge converter pen. It comes with a standard international converter as well as a cartridge. It posts comfortably, and I don't find there to be any slippage on the matte metal grip section. Here's a size comparison of the Diplomat Arrow next to other pens of a similar price range. Here is a writing sample of another extra fine nib in a similar price range. I realized while doing this review that I don't actually own very many extra fine nibs in this price range, so I apologize. I only had the Sailor Stormy Seas to compare it to. The first pro for this pen is the weight. It's not too heavy and it's not too, so light in the hand that it doesn't feel like it doesn't have substance. Even when it's posted, it feels nicely balanced in my hand. I found that it writes really well even on cheap papers, at least with the extra fine nib. I really, really love the very satisfying snap when I am closing the pen. And the last pro is very personal. I find that I write better in cursive with this pen than I do with other pens. I usually avoid cursive, but I really enjoy the experience. It has something to do with the balance of the pen. I just love the way that my handwriting looks like this. It's not perfect. I'm not <laughs> arguing that, but I think that it looks better than with other pens. The cons of this pen are that it feels like it's easy to get scratched. I know that anodized aluminum is supposed to be sturdier, and so that could just be my imagination, but I worry about it getting scratched up. I also am not sure that the nib is swappable. I tried to tug on it a little bit just to test it, and it's not budging. So I do wonder if the nib is swappable. That would be a con for me if it's not but I do intend to reach out to the distributors. It's a holiday weekend, so I can't get a hold of anybody for another couple of days, but once I do, I'll add that to the description box below, whether or not it's swappable. I think another con of this pen is the price point. I bought the steel nib and uh, it was $150 at the DC Pen Show. It's $156 at Goulet Pens. It usually goes on sale for $156 at Points of Distinction's website. Or I, they have a new distributor now, I believe, or they just call it Points now. I uh, will have the retailers, as always, linked in the description box below so you can check that out. But the pen I find to be a bit expensive for a steel nib. The gold nib is upwards of $200. I think it may even go into the 300. So I do think the price is, for what it is, is 
a bit high, but I absolutely love the pen. I think the final con is the snap cap. Now, the snap cap in and of itself is not a con. I actually really enjoy playing with the snap cap, but I found that other pens that I... I played around with that are in this price point are twist caps so I only put that as a con because it doesn't seem to be a norm for this price point thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this review please leave a comment down below let me know if you already own a diplomat arrow which color do you own and which nib and if you don't own an arrow which one are you thinking about buying i definitely plan to order some more so i'd love some inspiration before i sign off don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you continue to get notified when i post new videos like this video so that I know that you like to see pen reviews from me. Connect with me on my social media platforms, which are linked in the description box below. I like to put up content on the social media platforms that I don't always put in my videos. And share this video with others who you think would be interested in this type of content. I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Thanks so much. See you guys next time.